Alright, this is my vacuum top exposure unit that I built. Um, I've been working on it the past couple weeks. And I'm just going to kind of show you guys how it works real quick. And then I'll show you some of the features that I've added to it. Okay, so that's it. Um, I was kind of pressing, pressing just to show that there was uh, no gap between the plastic and the glass and everything was nice and tight. Um, this is just some regular plastic. It's some uh, panda plastic that I had leftovers. Black on the inside and uh, white on top. I think it's six mil, um, but I just had some extra plastic so I just used this instead of spending like a hundred dollars for like a neoprene blanket or something. But um, it works. It's not um, perfect. I can't. It doesn't seal all the way to the corners, but it works good enough for me. And I actually built this table big enough to uh, hold two of my uh, larger screens here if I um, put them in the other direction. But um, it seems like when I don't put it, when I put it over in this this side of the table, it doesn't get as good a section. But that's maybe it's something I can fix with a stronger vacuum or just a better top or something. But um, I'm just using my shop vac here. It's, let's see, five horsepower, so it's good enough for me. And I just got an extra um, top from, uh, or an extra attachment from Home Depot and just kind of drilled it in there. It's the floor attachment for it. And used a bungee cord, snipped off to run over my screen. I've got six unfiltered black UV lights in there. Onto their LT12, and I've got three yellow CFLs in the back. Sorry about that. Just to kind of show you that they work. So that I won't expose any of my emulsion if I'm just doing a little bit of work. Um, then I built a screen rack down in the bottom for uh, my smaller. I think they were 20 by 24 screens, and then my larger uh, 23 by 31. I think they are. And then um, I plan on using more of the larger screens because I like to do big graphics on my shirt. So um, on this side, I actually built a shelf just for like some miscellaneous stuff here. And yeah, that's about it. I uh, put a little timer in the side, but I think I'm going to get a different one. Um, but this one is good enough for now. I might keep it. Um, I could um, use it down to set it for, you know, from anywhere from one to 60 minutes and it's supposed to save the timer on there. My screen's exposed at about seven minutes uh, with this. So yeah, that's my setup. Um, just some hinges in the back, latches in the front. I put plastic all around the edges. So yeah, uh, I plan on to uh, making a little bit bigger than this uh, front for it. Now I'm just gonna put some uh, pieces of wood just to, so I can like slide it down and lock it in place so I can seal up the front too. But that way if I have some screens that are drying like that one there, um, I don't have to worry about exposing them with light even though I'm using my light safe bulb up there. But yeah, that's it. Got a piece of quarter inch glass in there, non-UV protected. Uh, did a little bit of artwork around the edges just for fun. So, it's working for me, it's consistent, and I don't have any issues with it, so I like it. I actually, uh, what I did is, these 2x4s right here are actually screwed into the top piece of 2x4. You can see there are two 2x4s uh, making the walls, and uh, this piece is kind of my handle for when I'm taking the top off. If I take the screws out of the, uh, the legs, all the way around, or the ones in the front and on the side, then I can lift on this one here and it'll take the whole top off in case I need to replace any bulbs or anything. So I thought about that a little bit so I didn't have to just lift up the glass. I didn't want to have to mess with that too much. Um, and I have, like I said, a little switch on the side as well for the uh, yellow lights in the back. And yeah, that's it. I put some uh, one by twos in the, in the back and 
on the side so that the screens don't slip around. They fit nice and snug in there. So if you have any anybody has any questions on the construction or what I used or how I did it, let me know. Um, I got the idea from a lot of different uh, people that uploaded videos on YouTube. Um, I forget their names, but yeah, I, I got a lot, drew a lot of ideas from them. Um, I think I built mine a little bit bigger because I like to use the bigger screens. And I wanted to build it so I can expose two screens at one time. So that's it. Kind of thought took what I thought was the best of uh, of all of the uh, videos that I saw and and made one for myself.